The village of Armenia on the Hummingbird Highway is expanding, and today, Bayleaf Palm Estates was officially handed over to the community. 128 house lots were issued to first-time landowners who now have the opportunity to develop their property and construct homes. This is what it's about, ensuring that young first-time landowners get an opportunity to own a piece of the jewel. Um, you know, this is as good as it gets, because this is a wonderfully beautiful, magical era, as you can see, and it's a really nice, going to be a really nice planned community. And it's absolutely needed because there is, it's hard to get land in Belmont and hard to get land in those surrounding areas. And so what they did, which I thought was beautiful, was that they are giving 75% of the 128 lots, I believe, to residents from this village, from Armenia, um, lots of young people who want land. And then the balance, 25%, will be given to a combination of public officers and persons from surrounding communities who, who don't have land. The area was privately owned and the government paid close to $500,000 for acquisition. The project is the brainchild of Kaya South Area Representative and Minister of Infrastructure Development and Housing, Julius Espat. We looked all over Kaya South and land is really just not available, but you had a landowner out, out here that owns quite a bit of acreage and we managed to work out um, a, a deal with him and where government would acquire the land um, for this specific use. Um, and it worked out, but it took two and a half years. This area that you're standing is, is, is open area, reserved. It's, um, it's, and we want to make sure that it's in the law that nobody can come mm -hmm. afterwards and try to chop it up. It, it's um, p passive recreation, and all communities need that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. We also have on the other side um, an area reserved for, for, um, for commerce. And where we want, and schools and infrastructure. So we have to bring in a um, substation for the police. We have to bring in. Um, we are start with pre-primary, one health, one health centre, link up with Armenia. Um, we have to bring in commerce, um, shops, because you can't just have houses. You have to be able to provide other amenities. Today's staff from MIDH came out to help with facilitating the registration process. Minister of Natural Resources and Deputy Prime Minister Cordell Hyde says that at this time they're paying $83 for their purchase approval and within two to three years each landowner simply has to pay $500 and they can then apply for their title certificates. And we'll try to organize it in such a way that you know it's not haphazardly done that we do it as a, as a bulk and try to speed up the process. I'm in communication with the chairman of BEL. I'm also in communication with the entire um, board of um, BWSL. If you notice, they were invited guests here too. Um, but we are doing it in such a way that it won't be a hindrance for them. We are providing them with, with thousands of clients. And we are linking it up with, with Armenia. Um, Armenia has a serious water problem. BWSL provides water, but they need to be paid. And so we are providing them with the clientele to justify the investment. There is a second phase of Bay Leaf Palm Estates that is adjacent to the current subdivided area that is being proposed, as well as another similar but larger project in Belmopan. Dwayne Moody for News 5.